Oh, good morning. Uh, we're back on our tour of GIMP. Um, what we're going to talk about now, it's going to be a two-part series, is we're going to talk about uh, channels and storing selections in channels. Basically, an image is composed of layers, as you're well aware, and pixels. Well, in between the pixels and the layers, there's an intermediate component referred to as channels. If we take a look at the channels dialog, what we're going to have here is it's represented by red, green, and blue. As you know, when um, which is the RGB image, as you know, when an image is uh, first introduced to GIMP, it does not have a transparent or an alpha channel. Uh, so what happens is when you add the alpha channel, it appears as a third uh, channel. Now, this eye in front of each one of these channels turns the channel on and off. So we can make this go just to the blue channel. Now it's just at the alpha channel. So we can turn the alpha channel on, we can turn the green channel on, turn the blue channel on, and turn the red channel on. We're not going to be dealing with the color channels. What we're going to be dealing with is we're going to be dealing with selections. So when you make a selection, you make it on the image or on the layer or whatever, it comes up and there you have your selection. Now what you can do with that selection is you can say save that to a channel. Now if we turn this channel off what you're going to have is you're going to have a mask showing what is selected. If you right click on now keep in mind that um, basically you can have more than one channel selected but anything that is selected is highlighted in blue as this is. When you right click on that selection mask, you can pull up a channel's attributes dialog where you can name that channel. We'll call this um, first. You can also indicate what color you want for the mask. So if I click on there and if I click yellow and I say OK, <coughs> we have, good, have yellow as a mask color with an opacity of 50. So there, we have our mask. We can turn that mask on and off by using the eye. And then if we have several masks, which uh, if I select this and if I um, select none, and if I add another mask, well here we'll add a square, right about like that, hit enter. Now we have a new selection. And I can say save this to a channel. And what we have is, is we have two masks. There's this one. Now see if I say select. Okay, none. We have this mask. It's represented by the square. And we have this mask, which is represented by the circle. Now, if you notice, nothing is selected on the image now. Just as we sent our selections to the channels, with um, this, save the channel under the select function, saving that uh, selection to the channel. We can um, right click on one of these channels and say, take that channel and put it to the selection. So now we have that. We can also say, we can select this one and we can say, add this to the selection. So now if you'll notice, we have the sum of both selections. If I say select um, none, what I can also say is I can say add this selection, uh, add this channel to the selection, and I can right click on this one and I can say subtract this from the selection. So now we have this. Um, what we can do again is select none. I can say add this channel to the selection and then I can say this one is become the intersect of the selection. So now we have the intersection of those two selections. So now I can say select and say none. Since these uh, selections ride on top of each other, what we can also do is take these arrows and we'll say move the first selection to the top. 
And again, we can go in our channel attributes. We'll call this one second. And we'll say OK. Or see, I can move the second to the first and have the second be the first selection. Or I can have the second be the second selection. We can also reproduce selections. And what we can do is we can take these two selections. This is very handy. We can say, add this to the selection. And we can say this. We can say, add this to the selection. Now we have these two selections together. We can merge these selections by saying, save this selection to the channel. And now we have a third selection. So we can go to our channel attributes and we'll put this one in as red and we'll say OK and we can call this one both. So now what we have here, OK, so if I say select none, so what we have here, if I say here is first, add that to the selection, so now we have the oval. I can clear it with a select none. I can take this one and add this channel to the selection, which is a combination of the two. Okay, and none. Or I can take my third again and uh, take this channel and put it to the selection. So we still have the individual selections remaining. What I can also do here is um, I can delete selections. So if I click on this trash can, I can delete these selections and leave both. So in other words, what you can basically do, do your work in progress, save it as a selection, and then as you are saving your selections, what you can do is delete the individual elements when everything is right. Um, these are typical selections where all the tools uh, the filters, the you know, the drawing tools and everything else apply. So very, very dynamic, um, very dynamic um, feature of GIMP. I'm going to conclude this video here, and we're going to get started more on uh, selections and channels on the selections and channels part two. Thank you.